The National Park Service wants to hear from you about the environmental impact of its proposal to restore the seawall along West Potomac Park and the Tidal Basin. Ducks are not supposed to be this close to, to the trail when the trail is 20 feet inland. If you've been down to the Tidal Basin in recent years, you've noticed how some of the walkways are almost impassable due to flooding or debris. This is all because of a failing seawall. This seawall is nearly a century old, and over the years it has deteriorated and sunk down. This sinking and crumbling wall has allowed water to flood the walkways of the Tidal Basin, impacting the environmental, recreational, and ecological aspects of the park. But the environmental assessment sort of lays out what we hope to be able to do. I spoke with Mike Litterist with the National Park Service to learn more about the project. We want to raise the seawall in the places that, where it floods most often. We want to widen the walkway um, so that during busy times like cherry blossom season, um, folks uh, are able to stay off the roots and stay away from the trees when they, when they walk around. $124.2 million for the project comes from the Great American Outdoors Act passed by Congress. The legislation designates $6.5 billion to address much needed maintenance across all our national parks. Replacing this critical seawall on the National Mall is long overdue. The seawalls have been settling since they were first constructed, some of them back in the 1930s and 1940s. There are areas that are, have sunk so much that tidal water overflows during high tide each day. That inundates the roots of the cherry trees, uh, some of them to the point where we've had to remove as many as a dozen or 14 trees. The final design of the seawall is still being worked on. The National Park Service hopes to finish the approval process and begin construction on the project by the end of next year. The public comment period for this proposed project is open until April 5th, so you can make your voice heard about restoring the tidal basin. I'm meteorologist Michaela Lucero, WUSA 9.